obviously YouTube day of the four games, uh, bringing you a very very exciting video. Now obviously we have got the brand new structure deck power code link, as well as this amazing um, rubber based mat. Now this rubber based mat you can get at any of your local OTS stores that have successfully got the event to run. Um, basically what you do is you pay ten pound, you get a starter deck. Um, you play only with the starter deck, so everyone is on the exact same level, and the winner gets one of these glorious mats. And then on top of that, one of these mats is then raffled off um, to a lucky random player who has entered. But without further ado, we are here to talk about Power Code Link. Now, when this deck was first announced, I wasn't. Too, I was like, nah, yeah, okay, whatever. It's a, it's an okay link deck. Then I obviously checked out the uh, TCG release, and it turns out we get a generic Link 2 in uh, LAN... F I'm not even going to try. Generic Link 2 that just requires two monsters, and a generic Link 3 that requires three monsters in Traffic Ghost. So they're actually pretty decent Link monsters to get, because um, they can obviously aid you uh, in linking up as well. And with this Link 3, Traffic Ghost, it is a Link 3 that points all down. So it points bottom left, bottom right, and down. Exactly. Uh, so, without further ado, I'm going to take you through the deck and show you exactly what you get in its context and all of its glory. I do apologise for the glare, I'll try and avoid the glare as best I possibly can when going through this. So, to start off with, of course, you get your beginner's guide, uh, all straightforward in there, a couple of combo guides as well. Uh, and then, of course, you get the paper mat of the deck. Now, this, I always like the paper mats, I don't know why they don't just transfer the paper mats into um, actual mats, because look at that. Can you imagine if this was a rubber mat? It would look sick. So much better. Anyway, so that's the paper mat. We will keep it with the uh, rubber mat down below because that is the one that you can win this weekend at one of your local stores. And then of course we'll take you through the actual deck itself. So I'm just going to zoom in on that one, play around with the camera uh, brightness a little bit so you guys can see as clear as we can. So obviously straight off the bat you've got Power Code Talk. I actually like this artwork. It's, it looks a lot darker um, on camera, but I think an American version might look quite nice as well because the ink will pop quite nicely. Sorry guys, I think I'd be a professional by now, the amount of bloody decks open. Anyway, we start off with the Ultra Wear with it Power Code Torga. I actually really like this one, so it's linked is left, right and bottom left. It's link free, it requires three monsters. Once per turn, take one face up monster on the field and negate that target's effect until the end of this turn. Nice little just target negate. Uh, once per turn, if this card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, quick effect, treat one monster this card po points to, this card's attack becomes double its original attack during damage calculation, goes up to a 4600 beta. Really cool on that one. Our second ultra is Segmental Dragon. I really like the artwork on this one as well. Um, so you can normal summon or set this card without tributing, but its original attack and defense become half. Once per turn, if this normal summon or set card is on the field, quick effect, you can destroy this face up card, and if you do, destroy all monsters in the main monster zone with attack less than or equal to the attack this card had on the field. So you can nuke a 1300 board, it's not too bad. Uh, our super rare is C Archiver. Uh, if the monster is normal or special summon to a zone, a link monster points to. Except during a damage set, you can special summon this card from your graveyard if it was there when the summon resolved, or hand even if not, but banish it when it leaves the field, you can only use the effect once per turn. Our next hollow is Flame Buffalo now. This is disappointing because I actually thought that the Link 3 Traffic Ghost and Link 2 would be hollow. But anyway, Flame Buffalo! Uh, if this phase up card leaves the field, you can discard one side of this monster, and if you do, draw two cards. Not too bad. And Lady Debug. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one level 3 or lower Cyverse monster from your deck to your hand. Only easy effect once per turn. Uh, Datacon. <laughs> Datacon. <laughs> I love that. What an artwork. If this card is special summoned, you can special summon one data uh, Acorn. Acorn. Uh, Datacon um, token. You can only use the effect once per turn. Garbage Collector. You can target one other Cyverse monster you control. That began at the duel in the main deck. Wow, okay, very specific effect. Return it to the hand, and if you do special summon from your deck, one side of this monster with the same level but with a different name. Very, very interesting card. Atlantean? Atlantean? I don't know. Once per turn, if this card battles a monster, this battle phase you can. Quick effect immediately after this effect resolves normal summon one side of this monster in. Um, if this face up card you control leads to field because of an opponent's card effect, draw one card. Storm so far cannot attack directly or attack monsters in the extra monster zone. Unaffected by monster effects, activated in the extra monster zone, cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster in the extra monster zone. 
It's a nice 2400 beta as a normal level 4. Side vs Gadget. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one level 2 or lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position, but its effects are negated. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon one gadget token. Um, you can only use the effect once per turn. Now, I believe, because it actually has gadget in the name, you can get this off of Ancient Gear Gadget with Machine Dupe and get f uh, three of these guys out, which is really, really cool. Jury Gato, nice little reprint. Mech Phantom Beast, reprint. Reborn Tengu. Now, we got two Reborn Tengus in a deck. Um, in the OCG, I think they got, like... Um, Grinder Golem as well, so it's a shame we had to get two of those. It doesn't even make sense, like it works best as a playset, so I don't know, two doesn't make sense. Skull Meister, Goblin Burst, and I okay reprint. Phantom Skybus, that's a really good reprint because of the hype that went round with it. Genix Alley Burman, Effect Veiler, always nice to get a reprint. Magical Merchant for all you GOAT players out there. Cosmic Compass, when this card is normal, summoned you can special on one, um, a number of compass tokens, up to number of monsters your opponent controls, so that's quite nice. Launch Commander. I think this has got like four prints, or it'll probably have four prints by the time the tins come out. Cyanet Storm, um, all link monsters on the field gain 500 attack and defense. Link summoned um, of a link monster cannot be negated. Once per chain, if you take 2,000 or more battle or effect damage, you can shuffle the face down cards in your extra deck. Excavate the top card, and if it is a side link monster, special summon, otherwise return to the extra deck. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, can you imagine? You just feel, put you mill firewall. How cool would that be? That's actually a really cool card. I like that. Uh, Night beam offering to the doomed. Forbidden chase. Nice reprint. Scapegoat always a good reprint. Swords of Ravine light reasoning. Uh, Fires of Doomsday. I think that's had like a reprint reasoning as well. One for one. Always good to get that. Terraforming as if we haven't got enough. So please don't hit this on the banners because you know what's the point? Uh, Packet link. Uh, during main phase 2, special summon any number of level 2 or lower monsters with different names from your hand, deck, and or graveyard to your zones a loot monster points to. Pretty nice. Wild Tornado. Target one face-up card in a spell and trap card zone. Destroy that face-up card. Then its controller can set one spell and trap card from their hand. If this set card is destroyed in the sense of graveyard, target one face-up card in the field. Destroy it. Meh. Trap Tricks. Trap Hole. I have Blazing Mirror Force. Trap Stun. Safe Zone. Call of the Haunted. Reckless Greed. Debunk. It's quite a nice reprint. And then here we go. We've got Traffic Ghost and Lan. Not even going to try and finish. These are our two generic uh, Link Monsters. Obviously, bottom three and bottom two. It's a shame they're common. Um, but they are nice little little cards to have in your decks as well. Anyway, so that start deck opening was a little bit longer than I was expecting to do. Um, but that is it for now. We will be bringing you a budget version of the deck, which only requires three start decks, or maybe even less than three start decks, to be honest, because... You get the majority of what you need in one. I'm going to leave that up to Joe because he is the side expert amongst the two of us. Uh, and then, of course, we'll bring you an update to the Cyverse deck profile as a general whole. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. Don't do like, comment, subscribe, share. And until next time, guys, as always, happy dueling. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for watching that video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. And of course, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button in the bottom left-hand corner and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We've got more deck profiles, duels, pack openings, and many more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos coming up for you all year round. So don't forget to stay tuned for all of that. Thanks, and as always, guys, happy dueling.